these are my rabbits. Loads of them. We started with four. This is how many we've got now. And we've already got rid of some. Quails. And these are the Angora rabbits. These are all her babies. Not babies anymore. She's done a good job. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous, Betty. You alright? Having a good time? So we build this coop. A coop. We build this uh, rabbit hatch using the dog pen. So this and this is really quite strong and sturdy. Um, got it from eBay for fifty-five dollars each, and it's the higher, taller one, like nineteen cent, ninety centimeters high, not the standard sixty one, um, because we might want to put chickens in there at some point when the rabbits move out. So I thought we'd get a big one, and all we need to do is to build a square base, um, put the top square base. Now let now let in to attach the the pen to the base. And I'll show you how to build it. So we'll just uh, see. Did now the same. Now this will be. And then we bought the cheap dog pen. These are the cheap one, which is really flimsy. I wouldn't use it on the sides, but I'll use it as the base. It's a lot easier to use this than to um, play around with the chicken wire, which never stay flat anyway. So we get these. These are like $22 each from Kmart. The dog pen, the flimsy one, as a base, so they can't, they can't dig. And um, put some tin roof up. Pretty easy, cut the roof to size. So David can build this in a couple of hours, maybe three hours. And most of the time it's just basically, more of the time spent is just to nail that thing in. So this is just tin roof, cut to size. And then drill a little hole, you don't have to. And just clip it together if you want it extremely secure. Otherwise we can lift it up if we want to get in from top, which is a bit tall to climb through anyway, but the 600 height ones. This is a 900 height one I've been told to climb through but the 600 height one if you want to go in and do a clean up I just climb through the top by lifting the, the, the roof. So the way we lift the roof is um, well this is how we do it. I haven't done this yet but because we haven't been needing to climb through from here. I'll tie a rope here and I will tie a rope here and hook roll this up and clip that rope onto somewhere here just to hold it in place so we can get in easily but we don't need it because we can just access through this door um so for shelter for inside for a nesting box in case they have faith, um, rabbit babies we just put this uh, 35 dollars i think it's 35 dollars a cat litter tray it's not a tray cat litter uh, box from kmart so we just put a couple in if they're gonna have uh, bunny babies, they'll just go in there, they make a nest and they'll have bunnies in there. And I, I used to think that you have to separate out the rabbit if they're gonna have baby bunnies. Um, you don't, you actually don't. The other, you can keep them in with the other rabbits, even with male. Um, especially, yeah, even with the male, but you wouldn't wanna put two male, two fully mature male together anyway because they'll fight. But if there's one male in there, 
they are fully matured ones and other baby males, it, it's okay. They can still have baby bunnies and still make their nest and still raise them. The other rabbits don't attack the babies. I've had them like this the whole time. Look at this gorgeous one. This color is just beautiful. It's a boy, this one, so I'm keeping him to, um, to breed some beautiful fawn colors. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah, so keeping rabbits, you don't necessarily have to split them. The only time when you want to split them is the adult males. Um, when they haven't been raised together, um, you will want to split them because they will fight to death. Hello, hello, mango, you're right. Kadu, kadu, just scratch, scratch. Yeah, so this is my. And where I separate them is the males here. I put the males separately because I really don't want to have many more rabbits for a little while. We just had so many at one point. Uh, they were so crowded, and then at that time we didn't have the new, um, new hutch built. But now we do. Now they have plenty of space. But still, I'm not. We have a lot at the moment, so I don't want to have any more babies. So I just put the males here. And this male is an adult male. She's the dad of all the Angora babies, and this one is the dad for the other meat rabbits. Now, the reason why those two are separate is because they didn't grow up together, obviously. Um, so if they put them together, they're gonna fight. Now these three actually are together. They can climb up the ramp and go up there. And they're all male, they're almost fully mature now. And the reason why they're okay together is because they grew up together. They've never been separated and there is no female here. Um, so if you separate them and try to put them back together, then there will be fighting. So I'm not, not, not going to separate these three. And last thing, so I've got meat rabbits there, angora rabbits here, and males go there. And these are my um, quails and my pet Belgian Diaco chickens. Hello, this one is her name is Chiki and she she's very friendly. She follows me everywhere. The one next to her name, her name his name is Super Duper Chicken. Um, I got him the day after we lost our other male Belgian Diaco chicken to our dog, puppy dogs who attacked on him and killed him. And there's one broody one in there. It's a bit dark to see now. That's it. So, as you can see, a lot of our coops and hutch are built from the same design. See, this one is the shorter one, the 600 centimeter, 600 mil one, the height. This is a 900 mil one. The 900 mil one would be perfect for chickens. So you can put, um, put timber in there for them to roost on at different heights. Um, and then we put a tie here and then if I want to move them around I'll just tie this to my um, mower, my ride on mower and I'll just drag, drag them along. I move them every, at least once a week, I try to anyway, but more frequently if possible, just so they get some fresh grass and stuff. So this is the other one, also 600, Let's see. How easy is it to get in there? You just lift this. You can just go in there. Just screw it down. Screw it down in in one one on one side, and screw it down on one side, and you can lift lift this. It's very handy, very easy design. So we built enough now that it's much easier to build now. We have perfected this design. What I've done down here also is I actually installed. Um, insulation as well. This is just uh, like a four dollar fifty car shade from Kmart. And I just now one in just to give them some insulation when they're so they're not too hot when they're in the sun. See, this one was built with chicken wire at the bottom, and as you can see, the chicken wire is not extreme, not exactly flat. It's kind of like wobbly, so I don't like that. It takes a lot longer to build as well because you have to. Um, join them together and stuff like that yeah and this is a tray I've built for them oh, I didn't build it this is just a tray from Kmart $15 for three and I just tie it tie it with this uh, tree tie 
expiratory time. I can put my um, grass clippings in there if they want to eat so it's not eating off the ground because there'll be a lot more wastage that way. And the feeder, forgot to talk about the feeder. We used to waste so much food because when you have one rabbit, it's okay. They just get out of a bowl. But if you have more than one rabbit, they normally run around and just uh, tip the football over, scratch it out for some reason. Um, they just do that. So now we've invented, not we invented this, we just built this, just this bucket. And most of you would have seen this design for feeding chicken, you know, this using this plumbing fitting. The only difference between, let me show you, the only difference between the one you will use for chicken and this is we have to make sure you cut. When, when, the, when the elbow you buy from um, Bunnings is actually really quite hard, it's, it goes all the way down, but you actually have to cut it, cut it so it doesn't go all the way down, so the, the rabbit doesn't have to dip the head too deep down to get to the food. Almost done? Yeah, almost done. We have to do a video explaining how we do the rabbits. So I have a six. By doing this, By doing this, there will be minimal food wastage. They have to put a head in and eat. Um, yeah, so we have a very little food wastage since. Uh, obviously, this is the watering system, automatic watering system. This is the water from the well. And I've got this. I don't know why you call that. Um, whatever. You've got it from Bun uh, I got it online. I don't know if you can get it from Bunnings, but this silicon tube, and you can buy all of this online. And the water. I still give them open water as well just in case this fails but they'll drink it from here it's a lot more um, they don't kick the poop into it it's a lot more um, hygienic. And here's our quails. Also have a little dome for the hiding place. There you go.